Well, hi, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to take an opportunity real quick to start out with a video, just kind of explaining who I am and what got me started on this minimal journey. So to take you kind of back to the beginning, in 2009, I married my husband, Michael, and in 2010, we welcomed our first child, our daughter, Raylan. At the time, we were living in a nice little house. Uh, it was about 1,300 square feet and we, we fit perfectly in it. Uh, so a few years later, we decided we would like to expand our family a little bit more. And in 2013, we welcomed our twin boys, Riker and Regan. Very, very quickly after they were born, we were just inundated with stuff. You name it, we had it as far as baby equipment goes. We had two cribs, we had all of the diapers, two high chairs, the car seats, all of the blankets, all of the clothes. You can just imagine, uh, we were on stuff overload. And in that home, I just felt like the walls were collapsing in on us. We did not have room for all of the things that I thought that we needed. So very quickly, I uh, kind of, rallied the troops of my family and decided that we should move. And so we went ahead and put our house on the market. It sold very quickly. And we found a home just a couple miles away that was 2,800 square feet. And it met all of the criteria that I had as far as a home was concerned. It had enough bedrooms and bathrooms and a play space for the kids. And it, it just seemed perfect. We needed to do a lot of work on it, but we got it for a great price and everything seemed to be going really smoothly. So we moved into that home later in 2013 and uh, we, we fit, we fit perfectly. And very, very quickly after that, we filled up that house. We had 2,800 square feet of five people and all of our stuff. And uh, you know, as a mom, there were just so many times as I went along in life with babies and toddlers that I was just so overwhelmed. And so um, a year or two later, I decided to quit my job and I wanted to start homeschooling Raylan. Uh, so I started with her in kindergarten and uh, loved it. I've, I've loved the homeschooling journey that we've been on. I've loved homeschooling all of my kids. Raylan is now a fourth grader and the boys are first graders. And I really, really enjoy homeschooling so much. But along with homeschooling comes stuff. There's more books, there's more supplies, there's, you know, just you name it, we had it as far as homeschooling supplies go. So as I started kind of getting into the groove of what it meant to be a mom with three kids and trying to be a homeschooling mom, uh, I just continued to feel like I wasn't doing something right. Like I wasn't keeping up with the housework that needed to be kept up with. Like I was just getting them uh, to do some, some busy work or some activity that didn't really matter that much so that I could go and clean something or I could go and take care of something else. And it just kind of continued to spiral. I never really found a great way to keep up with all the things. And as many blogs as I read or vlogs that I watched, uh, I, I wasn't doing a great job at keeping up with all of the housework. I just wasn't. At one point, uh, while I was looking through YouTube, I came across a YouTube channel called The Minimal Mom. And if you have not subscribed to her channel yet, please stop watching this video right now and head over to her channel and subscribe and watch, I don't know, she has like a hundred videos, probably more than that, uh, uploaded on Minimal Living. And I don't know her, she lives in Minnesota, her name is Dawn. She's amazing, she's incredible. Like I can't wait to meet her in heaven someday because she has just helped to change my life so much. And I, I just started watching her videos and I thought, Okay, she's a mom of four kids and they're all about the ages of my kids. Mine are 10, seven, and seven right now. And if she can do this and live normally, I could do this. I could really probably live with a lot less stuff than I have. And I, I started watching one video after another and that I would watch a few videos and then I would stop and I would do what she said to do. So I would go into one of the rooms in my house and my kitchen was huge. And I would just go in and 
start in, start minimizing our stuff. And I will be posting videos on how I did that and what that looked like. And from 2018 to 2019, there was a huge shift in how my family was living our lives. We got rid of so many things that were not helping us live a happier life. Uh, and by 2019, we were living fairly minimally, but we were still in a 2,800 square foot home. And so we had all this extra space and it felt so great. And then we started seeing God working in our lives and shifting us from thinking we're going to be living in this home, you know, forever. It was our forever home to maybe God has something else planned for us. So what that looks like for us right now, we don't know. So if you would like to subscribe, you'll probably find out right along with us. But we know that uh, we have big changes in store for us. And one of the things that we decided to do was sell our home. And we did. Uh, last year in October, we sold our home and probably about 80 to 90% of our belongings. We sold everything. So right now I am sitting in my new home. It is actually our RV. It's a fifth wheel, 350 square feet. So we went from 2,800 square feet to 350 square feet. And we are currently all living in this RV. Uh, it's not long term. We're not going to be living in this RV forever, but it is a really great opportunity for us to see how little we can live with and uh, the little space that we have and the few things that we have. So uh, we don't know what's in store. We don't know where we're headed. We don't know what we're going to be doing in the future. But we do know that at this point in our life, we have so much more financial freedom. We have been able to pay off almost every single debt that we have. Uh, we, we were able to find an RV that met our needs as far as what we really need to be able to live comfortably. And we're learning to live tiny. So uh, we, we'd love to be able to chat with you. We'd love to be able to answer your questions and I will continue to post videos uh, just showing you what it looks like for us, what life looks like for us living in an RV, uh, what life looks like for us living in these circumstances. And we're just trying to enjoy our time until God is really clear with what he uh, has in store for us. So. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in and I hope to chat with you again really soon. Bye.